Hey everyone, Jeff Salzenstein here, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about total tennis training. And what does total tennis training mean? Basically, to me, it means using every resource that you have, every aspect of your development to become the best player that you can be. And so what does that involve? That's going to involve technique, that's going to involve footwork, strategy, taking care of your body, getting the right amount of rest, nutrition, flexibility training, strength, uh, developing your mind, all of those aspects go into becoming a complete player. And if you're committed to improving and getting better every day, that's the thing I get really excited about. And I love sharing this knowledge that I've studied the last 30 years as a player and as a coach. And this past week, I had the good fortune of working with a very gifted player his name is Michael Rubin, and he played at the University of Michigan, was number one there, has since gone on to play professional tennis, and hasn't really achieved the ranking that he would like to have. He's primarily played at the future and the challenger level. He's around 800 in the world when he's been healthy. And some of you might say, well, 800 in the world, that's not very good. Well, he's still in the top point. 0.2% of all players in the entire world. He is an excellent tennis player. It just so happens that there's only, what, 700 players better than him in the entire, on the entire planet. So this guy is a great player. I don't care what anybody says. And he came out to work with me because he knew that something was missing. He knew that traditional coaches weren't going to give him the answers that he was looking for. So let's go ahead and listen to Michael talk about his experience this past, these past few days with me and some of the things that he felt uh, during the time that we spent together on and off the court. So I decided to take a leap of faith and start working uh, with Jeff through some of his um, online uh, Skype lessons um, and certainly learned quite a bit with that. Um, and, and then I thought it would be good um, to come out and, and spend some time with Jeff, not just hitting against such a great player, but learning from, from all the things that he's been through. Because I had noticed a lot of what I had seen when studying the game in some slow motion footage wasn't necessarily what, what I had believed to be taught. I think maybe the only area of surprise, kind of something that, that I thought, is not just Jeff's knowledge on the tennis court, but uh, off off the court with all these issues that are kind of interrelated with, with your tennis game, you know, be it mental training, be it nutrition, be it strength training, be it stretching, be it relaxation, um, you know, et, et cetera. Jeff is certainly more in tune with a lot of those things than any, say, tennis coaches that, that I've come across. So after listening to Michael, what I want you to realize is that I'm very passionate about helping you as a tennis player. So we've got plenty of videos on YouTube. You can find my videos on my blog. We are developing a lot of cool projects behind the scenes that are going to really help you in the next year, in the next couple of years. So go ahead, feel free to reach out to me, leave a comment at the blog. Uh, send me an email. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your questions and your comments and help you become a better tennis player. We'll talk soon and we'll see you at the next video.